Picture this, you're on a first date with someone you've been crushing on for like months. Everything is fun and flirty until... Oh no, 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 not now, not here, not body odor. Yes, the dreaded BO. Many experience it, few fully understand it. Some folks think it's the smell of bacteria growing on the body, but body odor is actually the result of the chemical reaction when bacteria is broken down in sweat. Before we get too deep into this stink, let's get a refreshing refresher on your sweat glands. There are two main types of sweat glands, eccrine and apocrine, and they kind of have a good cop, bad cop vibe. Eccrine glands are the good cops in this scenario. They are found all over your body and release sweat made of mostly salt and water directly onto the skin, which helps to cool you off and regulate body temperature. Apocrine glands are the bad cops here. They are found wherever you have an abundance of hair because they empty a milky fluid directly into the hair follicle, usually when you are stressed or if your body temperature rises. That's what the bad cops do, make you stress sweat a confession. Apocrine glands aren't designed to be bad. They're just doing their job after all. But unfortunately, they are the reason why body odor exists. In fact, sweat itself, even the apocrine sweat, is virtually odorless when it's produced. This explains why your forehead or hands aren't stinking up the joint after a long workout, but the same can't be said for your pits. It also explains why children don't have body odor. Okay, sure, kids can be smelly little brats for a whole bunch of other reasons, <coughs> disgusting ball pits, <laughs> but since kids haven't reached puberty, they aren't growing hair in all those fun places yet. Once a teen's hormone starts a raging, that's when the whole body really starts a stinking. So, on a general level, BO is inescapable because bacteria will always be among us or I guess I should say upon us. Additionally, some people are more genetically prone to having bad BO, or they have a medical condition that exacerbates the stank. However, there are ways of making your body less of a foul playground for bacteria. For starters, wash your body. We all know when Bobby was up for three days straight playing Fortnite because he definitely wasn't showering and now he definitely smells rank. So when the weather is especially hot, or if you're just really into gaming marathons right now, best to bathe more than you normally do. Clothing plays a surprisingly big role in BO2. We always hear phrases like, oh yes, this fabric breathes so well. And what this means is that some fabrics, specifically those with natural fibers, give your skin more access to oxygen, which means your sweat has a better chance of evaporating. Cotton, silk, and even wool are all breathable fabrics. Polyester, notoriously, is not. And moisture wicking materials only work if they are skin tight. This is something to consider during your next summertime shopping spree. Spicy foods can also make your BO more apparent, but it has nothing to do with your sweat. The scent of pungent foods can literally permeate through your skin, making body odor seem worse than it is. But of course, probably the biggest culprit to blame in this BO game is stress. It's no wonder your BO is wildin' on your big date. Stress causes your apocrine glands to go into overdrive. Here's some good news though. There is a chance that your crush might be really into your special brand of stank. There are a variety of studies that show how men and women are attracted to someone's body odor because it could help them to find a mate with genes different than theirs. It's evolution at work, y'all. So the next time you're rocking your personal BO perfume, see if your crush is into it. Their reaction might surprise you. 